Aishil here and I'm coming to you live from Kathmandu in Nepal. Local time is at uh, 7.15. Today is Monday. It's November 5th, 2018. I'm at the rooftop of Golden Buddha Lodge. They give me this tiny little room for one. By the way, I completed the trek for 11 days. From Lukla, you still have to fly out to Kathmandu will be my 12th day at the airport they were saying that there will be a reroute instead of flying from Lukla to Kathmandu we have to go to Ramishap, Ramishap and then a jeepney ride or a minivan to Kathmandu that will be four to five hours and then it did happen they were saying that there is a uh, traffic air holy grail oh my good lord you can't believe what happened on the plane. Ilukla is one of the most dangerous airports in the world, but that wasn't the problem. When we were on the air, and for maybe 30 seconds or 40 seconds, there's been a turbulence. And here comes the thing. The, the turbulence gets stronger. The big blow was when we were like, I think it was the fourth and the turbulence I've ever experienced. It. I was petrified, scared to death that I saw everybody and heard everybody says like <laughs> like they all have to hold in, the st in front of them but what I did was just like to hold the hand of Anil luckily I talked to him in the airport like I was squeezing his arms because I was really petrified it was the first time that I experienced um, that turbulence it's like we for five seconds I could feel it like my butt was like up for two inches from the seats shut my eyes and I was praying Oh god, I panicked. That was the scariest turbulence I've ever experienced and that plane was a small one. For maybe five minutes, I did not look out the window. There was nothing wrong at the airport, it was just the turbulence. So after 15 minutes, we ramishap and then Summit Air provided us with a van that took us here all the way out to Kathmandu. It was all fine. But I kind of like that detour as an advantage to be able to see outside Kathmandu like EBC and then Kathmandu only because I only have 21 days to stay here like three weeks going zigzag zigzag and then we're following a river but the river is running on the opposite direction I couldn't sleep then we had lunch I had the takpa chicken takpa but it was spicy I couldn't eat them all we arrived in Kathmandu around 4 probably. It felt really good to finally have a decent hot shower after those scent or short hot showers in the mountains. That was the last time I washed my hair. On my way back, I had hot shower in Ding Boucher. Same thing. It wasn't a full force water. I didn't wash my hair because it was late already there. I don't want to get sick. Hot shower would cost like 700 in La Boucher yep. and then in Ding Boucher it was 500 uh, if you're doing solo deal with it deal with it when you're at the mountain who cares if you're sink or not the thing is just like you have to go straight 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 and go to EBC or Kalapathar that's your aim and as you go higher with the elevation and so are the prices of the food and I thought of going this hill later that is the monkey temple and I think it's not good to go at this time as you can see it's smoggy I'll probably be there around 10 or before lunch first is I'm gonna have my breakfast Dover Square monkey temple and there's the other one and just go around salmon now I'm done with my coffee but I'm thinking of going out late. I am in no rush to go out today. I still have four, five days to spend around Kathmandu. 